Research Center. We're working on a project that we call Sensor, which is which stands for Smart Embedded Network of Sensors with an Optical Readout. And the problem we're trying to solve is the battery management systems problem that exists with batteries today, where they're trying to infer what's going on inside the cells using external readings such as voltage, current, and temperature. And because of that, there's a lot of conservative oversizing and multiple redundant layers of safety that are added that adds to the weight and cost of these batteries. So the thought is if we can have sensors in the batteries that are monitoring what's really going on in real time, you can solve a lot of the problems with existing batteries and bring the costs down and thereby increase adoption in applications like electric vehicles. So the challenges with having embedded sensors is that there's very tight cost constraints and it's a very harsh electrochemical environment. So in this project we're exploring the use of fiber optic sensors which can allow for multiplex sensors on a single cable monitoring a variety of different parameters of interest for cells such as temperature, pressure, chemical composition and so on. And we're doing this in a cost effective way leveraging some of Spark's advanced global shift tick detection technology where we brought down the size of the optical detection unit down to the size of a quarter of comparable. And we're building a lot of intelligent algorithms that will take that information sensed in cell and convert that into actionable intelligence and information for the users such as miles to empty, better state of charge estimates and so on. And here we have a little brief demo that we can show you about how the optical detection technology works and how a compact optical wave shift detector, how a compact wave shift detector can help solve some of these problems. So I'll hand over to my colleague Peter here who will show Hi, I'm Peter Kiefel, principal scientist at Park. And I want to show you a little bit uh, the fiber sensors which we have developed. Just as an indication, fiber sensors can be made along such a very, very thin fiber. It's, it's as thin as your hair, and uh, this fiber, you can imagine, can be incorporated during the fabrication process in one of such uh, typical lithium-iron battery packs. That means the fiber, the sensor, will be incorporated internally in order to get the internal parameter, in order to get uh, better information from the state of health, state of charge, and everything what is going on within uh, the battery pack. And also, that might help in order to see um, the uh, thermal runaways or improves the security of a battery pack, which we all have heard in the news recently, but um, knowing that this is really essential. Okay, let me briefly touch on the technology itself. One, uh, the fiber sensors are really known to be extremely sensitive. They can be functionalized to measure temperature, strain. They can also measure some chemical environment. The big problem with uh, fiber sensors is that the interrogation is typically very complicated, delicate, bulky, and also expensive. In order to overcome this problem, we have developed a part of a pin photodiode, which is uh, basically a detector, like a regular pin photodiode, a regular photo detector, which sees the wavelength of the incoming light, but not the intensity of the incoming light. And with such a detector, you can very precisely read out tiny wavelength shifts, which are created within such a fiber sensor. And I made here such a demo. Here is one version of uh, such um, um, wavelength shift detector. And it's basically any kind of photo detector with a certain coating on top which is converting the wavelength information into position information. Here I set up uh, a sensing system. <coughs> Here you see uh, one of these fiber break rating sensors on, uh, on top of an actuator. And the actuator is creating here a one uh, kilohertz signal. And since the uh, temperature has now changed in the room, it was running out of my uh, range. But I will get it back in a moment. OK, it's uh, too poor. Sorry for that, but it just illustrates how sensitive Centers are. And what you see here is a one kilohertz um, vibration signal created by this piezo actuator underneath uh, this uh, fiber sensor. 
and uh, the signal itself is correspond to how the picometer wavelengths go. That is state of the art, what can be measured at the moment. We can see that with one kilohertz. And if you just try now to put your finger close to the sensor, you, you don't have to touch it, only close to the sensor, then you see that the signal over here is going up. It's just by coming close to the sensor that illustrates a little bit how sensitive that is. And that was now corresponding to a temperature change of about 0.2, maybe 0.3 degree when I'm coming close to the Okay, that is basically our um, yeah, sensing technology. And I just want to point out that this kind of sensors, having a very thin fiber sensor, which recording multiplex different signals along one fiber can be used to cause not only in battle sensing, you can see uh, it as a module, which also is possible to measure the uh, structural health of a windmill, uh, of the windmill plate, or within uh, a generator in order to see the temperature distribution or also other failure mechanisms in generators or in engines and every kind of structural health monitoring.